Hey guys, Tom Shu here, and today I want to show you how to upres your files if you need to print something really large. I'm working on a project where I want to start printing some images that are two foot tall by four foot wide. That's considerably bigger than the raw file, so you have to use some type of software to interpolate the file to make it bigger. Now I'm here to tell you that you can use uh, all kinds of programs. You can use Photoshop to do this. You can use a program that's kind of like the industry standard for professionals, which is Genuine Fractals. It's now called Perfect Resize. It's an on-one piece of software. Or you can just use Lightroom. Now Lightroom is kind of like an Easter egg. People really don't know about this feature, but it does a wonderful job at resizing your image. The trick is you need to go ahead and set the aspect ratio of what your image is going to be in the print actually in your crop. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to crop this image since it's going to be uh, basically two foot by four foot. We have to look at that as a two by four or a one by two ratio if you reduce it. So we'll come over here and we'll hit this drop down box and we'll choose two by four. You can enter a custom if you want to and it will just convert to a known one. For example, it would be one by two, okay, which is the lowest ratio and that will give us actually the two by four. Okay, it's just a reduced ratio. So basically I'll just move this crop box just above our foot there because we don't need that in the screen. And we'll just save it right here. Now I didn't change the width of the file. If we hit I, the I key, we can look at the information. You can see it's 5760. That's the native width of the full frame 5D Mark III. Hit I, I again, get rid of that. Okay, so here's the trick. You want to right click and edit or actually export when the export dialog comes up we're going to save it into a folder which I created here it's upres testing 2 and give it a name and we're going to always save inside a TIFF now your color space for your lab would most of the time is sRGB this particular lab that I'm going to be using is using the RGB color space and we're going to choose resize to fit a lot of times this will be unchecked. We're going to give us a resolution of around 300 dpi. Okay. And I'm going to change this to inches. Now I'm going to change the width and the height. Okay. So I'm going to change it to 48 inches wide. And I'm going to change it to 24 inches tall. Okay. Then all you have to do is hit export. It'll munch on the file crunch the numbers and it's going to send it out and we'll take a peek here there's the file itself it's still rendering the preview and you can see it's now 14,400 now I did this test in several different pieces of software and I'll show you the results we're going to go into bridge here okay and this is the original file. Okay, so if you hit the space bar in Bridge, it'll give you a full screen preview. And then if you click on it, it will zoom into 100%. Okay, so there it is. There's 100% of the original file. Now we want it to be bigger. We want it to be one foot, actually two foot by four foot. So hit the space bar again. And we will show you, this one is the... Um, Doggone, I double clicked it. It's launching Photoshop. Sorry, folks. Let's see here. Let's go ahead and close that out. Okay, we're going to go ahead and hit the space bar here and we'll click the center and it'll take and load up that image. This is the resized one inside Lightroom. You can see it's considerably bigger. Now, there wasn't any sharpening applied. Now, if you apply sharpening on output, you can do it for the paper or for the screen in glossy or matte paper. Okay, hit the space bar again. And this was the one that I did in Photoshop. We'll double click that. We'll bring it in. This is the Photoshop upres file. Looks pretty good. And you just go into image, image size, and input what you want, and you constrain proportion and you scale. Okay, and this is the one we did with perfect resize, which is genuine fractals. Now I did apply sharpening, so you can see that there's a little bit of artifacts in the shadows, but the face is sharper. You have to consider your viewing distance. 
of your file you know they're going to be uh, of your print actually are they going to be three feet away four feet away you won't see that stuff and I'll just up res it to 100 percent and I'll step back on my screen and look and see what it looks like and usually on the print glossy print you wouldn't see that much however you can apply sharpening on the output module of Lightroom okay we'll get rid of that so that's it the secret Easter egg inside Lightroom is you can go in the export module and up res your files and get wonderful looking large prints without any need for additional software so that's it I want to thank you all for taking time to visit today until next time we'll see you soon